Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures, where this week we are playing the prologue for Slender Threads, which is an upcoming point-and-click adventure game in the thriller slash horror genre, and I've never really sort of dived too much into this genre because I'm a little bit of a coward when it comes to horror stuff but this I saw the trailer for it it looks absolutely fantastic so we're going to jump in we're going to play around about 15 minutes of it and then we'll see what it's all about here we go don't make your living selling other people's books when you're trying to write your own pretty cool so far looks great it seems brilliant at first immerse yourself in your craft get a sense for what's popular Gather moments of inspiration from the unassuming corners of the world. But immersing yourself in anything eventually takes its toll. Ooh, okay. Oh God, okay. <laughs> it's taken a sinister turn already. What is that? Oh God. What the hell? I'm hoping that was a dream and not a premonition. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, you'd think a recurring nightmare would eventually get less, I don't know, nightmarish. I need to take a break, get out of this room for a bit. Uh, pick up the pen, left click for quick actions. Okay, so tutorial. Right click an object for more actions. Okay, so we've got look and pick up and speak, so that's fine. Uh, open your inventory by clicking on there. Drag to combine. Lovely. Click to use. And use it on us. Simple enough. Okay, makes sense. That same nightmare again. I should take a walk to clear my head. Yes, we should, unless it's scary out there, in which case we don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, the art style and everything looks fantastic. I, I love how this looks. The sky when we were driving in on that intro was absolutely wonderful. Uh, so let's um, let's have a look at some of this stuff, shall we? A manuscript. Uh, what's that about? I guess it's our book. Uh, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to use it on on us. Can we can we not use it on us? Also, can we look from the? I don't follow. Oh yeah, we can look. We can examine it from my here. My unpublished manuscript, featuring my bewildered face on the back. Lovely. Um, what else have we got here? Let's just just take a look around in here before we head outside. I guess. Have we watered Can't the plant? Can't imagine plants last long in here. No. So, this is not our home, obviously. Uh, that looks like something we might want to open later on. There's a housekeeping sign. So we potentially want to put a sign up to say "Don't bother us." There's a lovely bit Seems of wallpaper. Seems appropriate that I'm staying in a room as disheveled as I am. <laughs> nice. No way I'm getting back to sleep right now. Not after that. Yeah. Small town hotel art at its ugliest. I mean, it's pretty basic, isn't it? It looks like it a hasn't lovely. Hasn't been the most successful sales trip so far, but hey, this town might want the whole pile. Never know. You've got to stay optimistic. This looks like a lovely place, doesn't it? Um. All right, let's head outside then. So far, so good. Wow. Look at this. Um, oh, apparently, we're not going to shut the door. Why is there an ashtray outside the door? There are more cigarette butts on the floor than there are in here. Yeah. Um, also, what the hell has happened in here? Judging by the state of my room, I don't want to see this one. It's out of service. I mean, I don't know if that means... one in my room. I'll give it that much. <laughs> I don't know if that means someone died in here or if it's just filthy. I don't know. Let's look out the window. I can't see much at this hour. Right, so it is night time. Okay, we can double click to walk a bit faster. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Yeah, maybe we should put our little sign up. Can can we can we use it on our No, we can't use it on our door. Alright, who's in room one? Room one I'm not sure if anyone's staying in this room. Okay. Nobody apparently. Healthier this... than the one in my room. I'll give it that much. What what is this awful looking stain on the floor? Do, do we want to investigate that? Oh, hello. There's people here. Main Street West. Town maps, but there's no maps. Lovely. Town maps. Don't see any maps though. No, neither do I. Uh socialite and there's the manager. Should we ring the bell? No hotel front desk is complete without a bell. Very true. Um let's speak to the manager. <clears throat> Uh, hello? <clears throat> I know you. Harvey Green, uh, room three? 
Um, do you have a map of town I can borrow? Hmm. That's odd. What's odd? People don't usually ask for maps. You're not in the book. What? Maybe the morning guy forgot to add me when I checked in. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Do you want to add a so, sin? So, map? On the stand behind you. It's empty. Stands empty. Well then, guess I'm out of maps. Guess so. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for all your help, man. That that was really, really helpful. The Leonard Bacher Award for Exemplary Hospitality. Who's Leonard Bacher? I am. Now cram. <laughs> He's given himself an award. Brilliant. Looks like keys for each room. Uh, right. Okay. What have we got here? Laundry room, which we can apparently go into. Whose luggage is this? Not my bags. They're much too nice. Yeah. Right. Should we talk to this socialite while we're here? Well, if it isn't the traveling writer, oh. welcome to Villa Ventana. She knows us. Have we met? Oh, no. But I saw your suitcase full of books burst open on your way into the hotel. Ah. And since it sounds like you are indeed a writer, you simply must meet Oswaldo. Who's that? Who's Oswaldo? Oh, a most charming and riveting storyteller. The life of every party he attends. In fact, he lives just a few doors down from here. Good for him. Uh, thanks, miss. I'll drop by. Do tell him Gladys says hello. Uh, yeah, I will do. Uh, where are you visiting from? Where are you visiting from? Oh, about five blocks, give or take. You live here? Why are you staying in a hotel? Young man, vacationing is about mindset, not distance. You've traveled much farther than me to be here, but are you on vacation? Yeah, good point. Sort of, but no. Uh, you look overdressed for this place. I've got to say, this is great so far. You look overdressed for this place. You're looking elegant. Maybe too elegant for a place like this. Oh, I know, dear. <laughs> Sadly, Modest. this filthy excuse for a hotel happens to be the only one for miles. I mean, it's give one it award. <laughs> I'll give it a rest when you learn how to brew a halfway decent cup of tea. Crazy old bag. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> okay, right. Take care. Well, that's all we've got to say to you, apparently. Little touches like this help distract from all the stains. And there are quite a lot of stains, it turns out. Uh, can we go in the laundry room? Locked. No, we can't. Okay. All right, well, I guess we head outside. I mean, those curtains are disgusting. Look at that. Town maps. Let's go out to Main Street West. The evening air is perfect. I'll give the town that much. God, it's a lovely vibe out here, isn't it? Who's bike? It's propped up against an old hitching post. Yeah, okay. So we've got to go and see Oswaldo, right? Who lives a couple of doors down. Old neglected barrels and crates. I, I'm guessing he lives to the right, because that's normally how these things work. We don't normally go left. Hey, look, a pigeon. Bye, pigeon. Uh, okay, so that it's not an awful lot that we can... Exercise extreme caution when crossing. Why? I haven't seen a single car on the road. I was waiting for the inevitable car to come along there, but it didn't happen. Uh, this place is storm recently? It's pretty run down, isn't it? Is this also Waldo's house? Coming up next on Among the Shadows. New radio drama. I haven't heard of this one. And what role will recent arrival Harvey Green play in these Uh Wait, what? Hey, who's in there? How do you know my name? Uh-oh. Oswaldo? This, this is isn't funny. I'm going inside. This is getting spooky. Why was our name on there? Hello. Oh god, this what's happened? Abandoned. What is or all this? Works. Wait a second, so who's listening to the radio? Uh oh. Where is the radio? Uh oh. It's getting spooky. I think it's broken. Alright, what is all this crap? The wall is covered in newspaper clippings, pictures, and scribbles. But why is there a crossword puzzle in the middle here? Good question. And what are these paper scraps stuck around it? Another good question. Can we... Oh, we can move it. We can move it. Okay. So, the question is... Where do all these pieces go? And what do we need to do with them? Is, is it like a... Okay, it's, it's some sort of a puzzle. So... Do they slot into one another like this, or is there more to it than that? Perhaps they go like this. The remaining letters spell Telltale Heart. In that story, the narrator hides a body under the floor. 
Oh god. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration. I mean, that was pretty simple, just matching the shapes, right? Uh, ah, there's... is that blood? I'm hoping it's not blood. Scissors! We'll take those. Alright, so... Uh, what's happened here? This looks like it's been trashed. I love Is this. Is there a struggle here? Why else would all these chairs be knocked over? I, I love the way the light's coming through the windows here. That is absolutely fantastic. Sounds like it's coming from in there. Oh, no. Uh, it's locked. Why? Ah, so is that where the... The music's coming from? The radio? Can we... That would probably just damage the lock. Okay, so that's not going to help us out. Uh, anything Did out the Oswaldo windows? Oswaldo board up his own windows? Why? I don't know. It seems like Oswaldo might be a bit crazy so far. Anything under There's the rug? There's a crease in the corner of the rug, as if it's been folded up recently. Right. Well, Am I really going to look under there? I have to, right? Yeah, we have to. Lift it up. Huh? <gasps> Something down there is reflecting light from the window. Is it the key? It's, it's the key. key. It's the key. Yes. All right, we've got the key. Let's use the key on the desk. This looks like it fits. Stop right there. Who's that? Maybe jump. Don't move. Oh god, who's this? Good god, what the hell's going on in here? I have no idea. Who are you? What's your name? Uh, Harvey Green. We're not going to lie. My name is Harvey Green. I'm in town for business. I'm staying over at the What business? Uh, books. I sell books. I have a card in my pocket. Uh, can I... Slowly. What's all this on the wall? What have you been doing? Nothing. No, I, I, I don't know what any Just of looking. this is. Just Bullshit. It's true. Uh, I've only been here a few minutes. There are newspaper clippings from months ago. Uh... Some of the newspaper clippings on the wall over there are from months ago. I didn't even know this town existed until the company added it to my route last week. Let's say I believe you. Why are you in here? Uh, I heard my name on the radio, actually. <laughs> so let's not say that, because that makes it sound crazy. Someone recommended I come by. A woman at the hotel suggested I meet Oswaldo. Describe her. O older, dressed like she was at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> That's Gladys, all right. Yeah, that's her. Mr. Green, do you have any knowledge of Oswaldo's current whereabouts? No, Sheriff. Then I have a missing person on my hand. <gasps> <sighs> Listen to me. I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. I do know that if people caught wind, it'd cause a town-wide panic. So you and I are going to make a deal. I let you walk straight back to your hotel, and you tell no one about what you saw. Say a word or skip town, and I personally escort you to a jail cell. Uh, do we understand each other? I yes, mean, Sheriff. Good. Do we? Now get out of here. And what should we do? Because there's shit, something weird going shit. on. Breaking into a house? What was I thinking? Am I losing it? No, I swear I heard my name coming from in there. I didn't imagine it. I, I couldn't have. And even if I did, I couldn't have imagined all that other stuff I saw in there. I can't just sit in here and ignore it. For starters, this is the only interesting thing that's happened in months. Well, that's true. We, we definitely don't want to ignore it. There was something very strange going on in there. So, I mean, we're, we've been told to not get involved, but we're definitely getting involved in this. Because <laughs> this is not right. Right, let's head back. Sheriff, you can't make us do whatever you want. Right, let's talk to you as well. Got... Enjoying your stay? Well, not dear. really, not really. No, I'll be honest. Um, I went to Oswaldo's. I dropped by Oswaldo's house. Oh, lovely, dear. How is he? He's, um, he was uh, out. But there was your weird crap in his types house. Are always off making mischief. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think. Take care. That's what we were actually talking about. He, he's. A, it seems like he's a bit crazy. I'll be honest. Alright, let's check this way, because we didn't go this way, did we? Is, is this literally just the outskirts? Oh, okay. Train tracks. Oh, hey there, little fella. Where are you off to? Do, do we want to follow I this? I haven't heard any trains so far. I wonder if this is abandoned. Do, do we want to follow the rabbit? I, I get the feeling that this might be a bad idea. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! What the hell was that? Okay, that scared the hell out no of me. No way. I don't know what that creature was, and I don't want to find out. Well, 
the jump scares are in this game, apparently. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That absolutely scared the crap out of me. Oh god. Okay. So there's jump scares. Can we can we go across the crossing? Get Whoa. Out of the road. Okay. And there are cars. It turns out. Watch it, buddy. So apparently there's only cars if you cross the road. <laughs> Hello. Just me again. Good evening, officer. Evening, Mister. Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met. My name's ha uh, Hugo. Victor Hugo. Yeah. I'm a tourist. A tourist? Huh. We don't get many of those. Well, welcome to Villa Ventana, Mr. Hugo. Stay out of trouble and all that. Uh, I will. Uh, what happened in there? W uh, what happened in there? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, Mr. Hugo. Scene's still under investigation. Right, right. As in crime scene? Well, that's what the sheriff's gonna figure out in the morning. Ugh. I probably shouldn't have said that either. You probably shouldn't, but why is he not doing it today? Um, could I look inside, maybe? Any chance I could take a look inside? I'm something of a... Aspiring mystery writer? That's the one. How did you... Suspenders. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, Mr. Hugo. Is that a thing? We need to make sure nothing's disturbed. You're just gonna have to use your imagination. Writers are good at that, aren't they? Uh, I mean... I saw a creature in the An woods. An enormous creature jumped out at me at the edge of the woods. Ha! <laughs> First time in deer country, Mr. Hugo? This was no deer. It was brown. Like a deer? No. Totally silent. Like a deer? No. You don't understand. It. Relax, Mr. Hugo. You're not the first to get spooked. I promise the deer will leave you alone if you give them the same courtesy. Is that some sort of weird threat? Is this neighborhood safe? Is it safe for me to be out at this hour? Are you keeping out of the crosswalk over there? Yeah. Uh, yes. Then you're fine. Right. What's so dangerous about it? I wish I knew. Almost every time we're called out, it's because some pedestrian got hit. That's yeah, weird. Um, why not get rid of the crosswalk? If that crosswalk's so dangerous, why not remove it? We submitted a request to City Hall. Why didn't they do anything? They did. They put up the sign. Aye. Right. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I think you hear screaming. Someone needs help. Officer, I think I hear screaming. Someone needs help. I do appreciate your concern, Mr. Hugo, but I don't hear a thing. It's faint, but I'm sure it's there. L listen again. Mr. Hugo, ah! I think you could use a couple more hours of sleep, huh? Uh, okay, I definitely hear screaming. Are you really not hearing the screaming? It sounds like it's coming from one block over. Ah! Please don't take this the wrong way, Mr. Hugo, but our town does have a world-famous psychiatric sanatorium. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, Mr. Hugo. Uh, nothing at all. Yeah, that was suspicious. Uh, you sure I can't just peek in there just for a second? You sure I can't peek in there for just a second? I'm sure, Mr. Hugo. Sheriff's orders. All right. Stay safe. Yeah, you too, buddy. There must be another way in, right? Maybe down the side of the house. But, guys, that's where we're going to leave it, because I'd like you to go and play the rest of this for yourselves. The prologue is available on Steam. It's completely free. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below the video so you can play it for yourself. This is really good. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the spooky vibe. I got jump scared, which I can't believe I got jump scared by a point and click game, but there you go. Um, as I said, I'm a bit of a coward. But that does it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, and Paul from the Fans and Fellows for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit, hit on that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.